Welcome to Chelmsford Telemedia's coverage of Independence Day, direct from the Town Common in Chelmsford, Massachusetts. I'm good, thank you. What's your name? Abdurrahim Waramdani. And, and where are you from? Morocco. Wow, so you ran all the way here from Morocco? Yeah, I moved here in a couple of weeks. Yeah, I'm staying here with uh, my friend to train and to enjoy the training with uh, all the uh, clubs, Chris and Lowell. And doing some races, like small races, one mile in track uh, last Saturday, and Thursday we doing one mile again. And today I want to run and to enjoy with uh, all people uh, running this is amazing uh, races uh, for uh, the, the festival and for the happy day, uh, Independence Day for United States for July. It is a great uh, race. Thank you for the organization and thank you for all uh, the people who are running, how they are enjoying running. This is the best uh, places to run in uh, the world. This is uh, United States. Many, many people uh, develop the sports. That's why. So, so you run a bunch of other races. Is this, uh, this is two miles? Is that yeah. a good good distance for you? Or you no. You usually run longer. I run longer. The marathon. <laughs> I'm 44 now. You're 44. I like to run. Yeah. I like to run the the long distance run <laughs> races. No, the like the small races like one mile or two miles or five yeah. k. I like to run half marathon, marathon or ultra marathon. You, you but it's good to do uh, small races and short races to have speed. This is kind of just a warm-up for you. <laughs> yeah, but it's tough. For if you go in like going like uh, faster, you have like uh, block in your uh, heart. It's like in you have like uh, also uh, legs you can go go. But it's good to do that sometimes to have speed. So are you just visiting Chelmsford? Or are you planning to no, move here? No, I am. I, I am a resident here. I get my green card just one week before. Well, fantastic. So we thank look you. forward to seeing you next year yes, thank you. so you can defend your championship. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you for you. joining Enjoy. us and congratulations. Thanks. Thank you. Stan, why don't you tell us your name and where you're from? Um, Tyler Martins, and I'm from Chelmsford. And Tyler, how old are you? 13. I, that must be some kind of record. Have you run this race before? Yes, I've run this race about three or four times, I think. And what was your time? I have no idea. I didn't look. <laughs> do you think that, uh, did, did it feel like a fast race day? Yeah, definitely, especially because towards the end, I was like, oh crap, I gotta beat a bunch of people. So I like pushed and I had to sprint because I wanted to get a way better time, so. Is this something that runners do, that you save a little bit for the end? Yeah, normally when I run in other races, I try and like run like a good pace and then at the end is when I try and like beat other people. Like at the end I push for like maybe the past maybe for maybe the last fifty yards. Wow. And so were you were you in a crowd of people or did you break free? Were you on your own? Were you running the race you wanted? Um, I think I was. I started off pretty strong but then towards the middle and end. I was like kind of like like my goal again was like to pass people, but for the majority of the race, I had people like in front of behind me, and it's kind of like in my own little space. And then again at the end, I just realized I had to push, and so I just tried to be as many people as I could. Well, fantastic! Thank you. Tell everyone your name again, so we'll remember. Tyler Martins. Tyler, thank you so very much for joining us. Congratulations, and go join your friends and uh, for a great celebration. Thank you. It's just a terrific day here in Chelmsford as the police honor guard approaches. Wonderful weather. It has been so much worse in a number of years, but we are glad to be back together. Would everybody please rise and remove your hats for the singing of our national anthem by yeah. Rose Lovett? Can we ask everyone to please rise? Because we're about to sing, have Rose Lovett sing our national anthem and uh, remove your hats, please. As a to our country. <laughs> Jeff, do you want to say anything about Rose before she sings? <laughs> I understand you know her pretty well. Um, Rose is a 13-year-old 
uh, going into 11th grade at uh, the McCarthy Middle School. She's also performed in some of the uh, the latest uh, audition of or rendition of Moana at the McCarthy Middle School as well. Okay, so with that introduction, Rose, we welcome you to our Chelmsford Com. Please join in singing, if you wish, our national anthem. Go ahead. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars That her flag was still there. Oh, say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave? Fantastic job, Rose. Congratulations. What a voice at just 13. Amazing. And so with that, let's have a parade. Our community resource dog, Officer Ozzie, is joined us today. And Officer Ozzie is joined by his partner, Parker Middle School Resource Officer, Dan Sullivan. Officer Sullivan has been serving the town for 17 years, and driving Officer Ozzie's cruiser is Tulsa Police Department mechanic Todd Barry. Thank you, everyone, for coming out today. Uh, it's a great day to march, a great day to watch. Uh, I want to thank the parade committee and everyone who helped make this possible, um, and thank you to all the community for coming out. I wish you a happy, safe, and blessed Fourth. Thank you. Happy Fourth, Virginia. Okay, coming up next is our very special guest, our Parade Marshal, Charlie Zayer. His parents, George and Romeo Zayer, stayed with his father's brothers in Lowell until the property in Chelmsford, which became their homestead, was available around 1910. This parcel was about 49 acres where primarily fruit trees were grown until the town took a large part to build the McCarthy School. Charlie is the youngest of his parents' 11 children. Only Charlie and his older brother, Merrick, remain. Charlie served in the Army as an infantryman from 1952 to 1954, and he was stationed most of that time in Germany and observed many of Hitler's tunnel networks and concrete bunkers in that region. Five of Charlie's brothers served during World War II. We welcome Charlie and thank him for serving our country, and driving Charlie today is Charlie Wojcic. Thank you.
Okay, coming up next after these wonderful tractors is our hometown hero, Savannah Gooden. Savannah is driven by Sheila Hardy. We thank and congratulate Savannah, who was a Chumsford resident and was a senior at Neshoba Tech. She is being credited with helping to save the life of a co-worker at Walgreens. On January 22nd, the 17-year-old was at the end of her shift at Walgreens, where she works through the Neshoba Tech Cooperative Education Program, when a co-worker collapsed behind the counter. Savannah, who was a health assisting student, immediately jumped into action using life-saving techniques she learned in school, and she was assisted by other employees who called 911. When EMTs got there, they brought the man back uh, by stretcher in, to the hospital and continued life-saving techniques. The man was in the midst of a massive heart attack and required surgery. The EMTs told Savannah he would likely have died if she hadn't jumped into action. So thank you to Savannah. Yay! I'm honored and pleased to introduce to you the Merrimack Valley Vietnam Veterans. They are proud to be celebrating 40 years as an organization. Its mission is to promote awareness of prisoners of war and missing in action, some of whom still exist, and issues pertaining to military members of all wars and conflicts. Thank you for being here, gentlemen. We salute you. Chelmsford Community Band, everyone. Happy 50th anniversary. One of our town treasures. And there's more of them than what you see here on the float. I would guess there's 45 or 50 members of the band. They've been rehearsing first virtually during the pandemic, and then uh, more recently here in the Chelmsford Center for the Arts. We see a, a blue Cadillac coming. I think he's got to get out to push. Oh, no! I think he's overheated. Well, here we have some hardy volunteers. I've often wondered how many people it takes to equal one horsepower. We're about to find out.
That might make the cover of the Lowell Sun. <laughs> and it was county energy. I think they need That's a different right. source of energy for that Cadillac. It's the Chelmsford High School Marching Band. It's a proud part of our heritage here at the 4th of July Parade. It's a Massachusetts State Concert Festival gold medal winner. They performed at Walt Disney World, played at New Year's celebrations in London, performed national anthems for the Boston Red Sox at Fenway, and in July 2015, they represented the Commonwealth of Massachusetts in the National Independence Day Parade in Washington, D.C. Pleased to have our Chelmsford High School Marching Band with us today. Chelmsford High School Marching Band. Now they're off for the summer. I wonder what kind of uh, enticement they had to come back for the parade. They know how important they are to this community. We love hearing them every year, so they keep coming back. We appreciate it. And behind them, we have the Suburbanet Baton Twirling Team. The Suburbanet Baton Studio and Twirl Team is celebrating their 45th year being part of Chelmsford. The Suburbanets have traveled to Walt Disney World this past February arc and competed at the Twirl Mania International Championships at the ESPN White World of Sports Complex, winning multiple international championship titles. The studio has performed in March locally nationwide, including New York City, Washington, D.C., Walt Disney World, Ireland, and Russia. The Suburbanets are currently Massachusetts State Champion for team individuals, and the Suburbanets Twirl Team is under the direction of Christina Rapucci, Rapucci, and coached by Amy Melanson and Alana Brundine. And behind them is Jack Sparrow of Pirates of the Caribbean fame. Jack, be careful, Pirates ahead. Hard to believe that Jack first hit the screen almost 20 years ago in 2003 in the first Pirates of the Caribbean movie.
Spotify for its sponsorship. Let's have a listen. Definitely a showstopper. I'll thank you. That. Thank you, Funky Carnival from Canada and Blake Trumpsford Funeral Home for being our wonderful sponsor again this year. Okay, the next group we have is the Hot Tamale Brass Band. And this band comes to us from Boston. They're a fan favorite playing on Lansdowne Street prior to Boston Red Sox games. Let's hear them play. What an entertainer. <laughs> Thanks for being here, Rick. And we thank How the, are you? the entire you team from Chelmsford Telemedia. Yes. Who not only uh, are broadcasting this live, but they put in unbelievable hours in the hours beforehand. 
Craig uh, up in the truck up there. To, Thank to you. To make sure this works as well as it does. Tom Peterson and his crew never fails to bring it home. So we're thankful for that. And I want to thank my co-hosts up here. Thanks, Lynn Kelly. Marcella and Jeff Hardy from the Parade Committee. It's been a pleasure working with you. Thank you. Good to be back. And so for the 246th birthday of our nation, we want to wish you all a happy, safe 4th of July Independence Day. I'm Kelly Beatty for Chancellor Telemedia. Goodbye, everyone. Have thank a happy 4th. Bye-bye.